Hello, my wonderful shiny gems. We're back with another Pippi Mod tutorial. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel for some more. <sighs> Alright, let's get started. Alright, today we will be skipping chat channels. I know we've been kind of going in order, but we're going to skip chat channels today. Um, next video, we'll discuss the chat channels and Discord. But this video, I want to get into the hippie settings. Um, just this, just hippie settings. That's it. <laughs> That's all we're going to discuss is this entire panel today. All right. So we're going to go from left to right and we'll start at the top. So the first thing you'll see is chat settings. This is where you can customize certain aspects of the chat. More specifically, the profanity filter um, and whether or not it shows ranks when you talk. So um, right now, we'll go into my chat here. Right now, when I'm typing, you see the timestamp. That's I believe is my setting, actually. And then uh, Moonstone, which is yellow. So we go back into the panel. Okay, we're back here. If we hit show ranks and we click that, check it, and we go in here and we go type it, type, type, type. Now it shows that I am an admin and my name is Moonstone instead of just the color. That is very, very helpful when you get quite a few people on the server and um, you have quests and ranks and the ranks are the similar color to your... Uh, uh, the ranks are the similar color to your, say, your admins or your debuggers and so on and so forth. It is very handy for that. All right, let's get back into the panel. Okay, now we're back. Uh, I'm going to uncheck this. This is totally up to you. It's very helpful, but if you have a small community like mine, you won't need it. Um, mostly because I'm the only admin. <laughs> uh, you can add filtered words. So if you add a word, we'll say um, shiny. It's not a bad word, but we'll add it. We'll say, okay, we'll even, and our profanity filter is enabled. If we check it, it's, or disabled. If we check it, it's enabled. All right. So if we go here and we type in shiny, oh, it's not showing up. But if we go back into the admin panel, you can see that we can just easily remove it as well. So add in um, whatever filtered words you don't want to see in the chat on a general basis. Um, and then make sure the profanity filter is also enabled. And then just add in your words. All right, our next is the rank settings. This is awesome. Um, this is all your standard ones. I tend to be in a habit of deleting these two because the admin's the highest I need normally. And then we keep the normal VIP um, moderators and then my admin. That's normally how I do it. Uh, you can delete the ranks, obviously. Delete. See? You can reset player ranks. Are you sure? Are you sure you want to reset player ranks? All players on server, online or offline, will have their ranks set to the lowest rank possible. We're going to say no, um, but that lowest rank is normal. It is based off of, of uh, uh, location. So if we scroll, put this way up here, that's the highest rank now instead of the lowest rank. So lowest, highest, okay? Um, you can edit a rank. You can edit its name, change its color if you wish, and you can use this code instead of trying to go do, do, uh, okay, yeah, accept, all right, and then of course you can create a new rank. We're going to name this rank um, Elvin uh, for AOC, Elvin, okay, uh, we're going to make it white instead of black and we're going to hit okay and then we're going to move it all the way past the normal okay so 
So everybody gets a normal, but Elvin is going to be like a passive rank that people will get once they've chosen an Age of Calamitous thing and they chose Elvin, we'll give them that rank. So if we go over to um, players, um, alright, so if we come over here, we can see that I'm of the Elvin Covenant, so I'm just going to check that. And then also, if you note, you still can't see the fact that I'm part of the Elven rank. Alright. Okay, now we're back in here. You know how to create a rank. You know how to move it into its location that you need. You know how to edit the rank. You know how to delete a rank if needed or reset the player's rank. This is going to be important. Okay. I use ranks in my questing systems a lot. Um, you don't have to. You can do other checks to see if it works. But a lot of the times, especially if you're doing Age of Calamitous and you want only the Elven people, those who chose Elven, um, to do this, then um, you can either have them check if they're from the Elven camp clan or um, or and to do that, you would have to have this rank. All right, uh, announcement settings. All right, let's get into this one. First off, are they enabled? Yes, of course they're enabled. <laughs> um, announce player login, log off, um, death. I don't, the login, maybe, the log off, maybe, but the death, eh, it doesn't matter. Um, show every, how many minutes do you want to show it? and cycle method sequential or random we prefer sequential so what it's going to do is these are your default um announcements and i'll start from here and go here every 10 minutes it will do one of these and you can add them you can remove them you can edit them you can broadcast them you can say use next and do it that way you can add as many announcements as you need. I would recommend definitely having your Discord or your website to go to as an announcement, as well as maybe the server information, unless, of course, it's in the website, then go for that. And then maybe when the server, definitely if the server, when you plan on doing a server wipe, but maybe the time as a reminder of when servers are updating or when you shouldn't be on because they're doing a backup so on and so forth all right message of the day settings exactly what it sounds like first off are they enabled yeah yeah show on login which means when you first log into the game every time you log in so if you log off and you log back in it'll show up again all right and it's the same idea with the announcements. You can edit them, you can remove them, you can add them, you can preview them. Uh, you can actually change their colors. Unfortunately, I don't think you can change these colors. Yeah, no. Um, I didn't think so. That's why I didn't bother looking at them. <laughs> um, but you just click on them, you can change the colors. This is literally when you walk in the front door, basically, every time you log into the server. So this is good for reminding people they can type in slash help if they need more commands. Um, you can now use up and down arrow keys to scroll in the chat. Actually, those two are really nice tips, to be honest. Um, maybe I, I don't delete this, but maybe delete this and put in something else. Um, uh, a good one if you have daily tokens, I, I would put um, reminder, don't forget your daily token kit. That's a good one to put in, um, especially if they haven't done it. And then maybe set it to um, a really bright or dark color. Uh, let's see. Doesn't like me today. Um, edit. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it doesn't like me today. Uh, 
cancel. Add, I think you're supposed to add it beforehand. Let's make sure of that. Reminder and dot dot dot. I think you're supposed to set it kind of beforehand. Or it just doesn't like me. It, 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 it used to work. I know it did. Um, let's see. Oh, I forgot to hit set color. Derp. There you go. Set color. Yeah, make sure you hit set color. I thought it was hitting that. I honestly did. All right. So that's um, that's what's going on there. You can always preview it, and I'll show up in the chat channel. As you can see, way back there, the chat moved. All right, the next one, the rules settings. Okay, first off, I would recommend enabling this. Uh-huh, yeah, I would. <laughs> um, the second thing is, is show on character creation, definitely. Um, that way, when, before they create their character, they have to accept the rules. Sometimes it glitches where you have to accept it after they've created the character, which is fine. Um, it just kind of depends on how they spawn. In single player, it shows up during character creation. Um, in multiplayer, it tends to show up after they've created this, created the character. Um, and then show on update as well. You can, of course, set the colors to whatever you want. Same way over here with the message of the day. You can add, remove, edit, preview. And um, I would recommend putting all your server rules in here. Um, and I mean all of them. That way, if somebody decides to uh, say, hey, uh, I, don't, I don't recall these rules, and you can go back into their players and check uh, if you go back to a previous video you'll know this um, you can go back to the player tab and say hey yeah you signed this on this day um, you clearly didn't read the rules and then I don't want to say punish but discipline them as you see fit for not following the rules alright and then this last little bit Pippi information. Display information about the Pippi build. And then you can back up your. I, I typed in snapshot, but yes, you can create a snapshot of all the server settings. Alright, and then you can actually upload them. You can load the snapshot. So if we load this, upload. Sure, why not? Uh, it it kind of just changes what you had here. I don't have there, there's no um it, it's just the kits that I had in for the snapshot, but it updates the kits. It updates them all if that's what you want to do. You can click and say load, and clearly you can select all, or you can just select some um, and do it that way, or you can create the snapshot. Um, snapshot, not Snapchat. Um, it needs a name. I would recommend notes about it and then call it good. All right. That is the Pippi settings. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And don't forget, stay shiny. And I'll see you guys all next time.